Elementary D, happy Friday, May 8th, 2020. I can't believe it's already Friday. Um, I'm only going to come on here and give you this super short video to explain your individual work. And you guys are actually going to watch another video today um, to kind of give you your science update for the day. So, what you're going to do is you're going to watch the video that's in the comment section of this YouTube video. And it's also posted in Class Dojo on the Class Story. Okay? So that should be easy. You're just going to watch that video. I want to make this very clear because we had some people and some parents that were confused about the um, plant experiment. You do not have to do this experiment, okay? You don't have to do it. You do not have to buy the celery. You do not have to get the water or the colors. No, none of that. You only have to watch the video, okay? So you're just going to watch the video. Do not do the experiment. Look, I put it really big right here. You do not have to do the experiment in the video. You just need to watch it. Okay, so watch that video. After you do that, you'll be able to do your individual work, which is pretty simple. However, I also gave you guys a pretty simple assignment on Wednesday to write three sentences. One, two, three sentences, okay? And I would say that maybe half of you didn't write three sentences or didn't follow the directions, or spelled very simple English words wrong, okay? You guys can do better than that. I have seen your writing before, I know what you can do, and it was not that. So we're going to practice again, okay? I also see what you turn into other teachers. I see what you give Miss Lucy, and it is very good English writing. So that's what I want to see in my class as well, okay? So you're going to again write three sentences. How many sentences? Three. Three sentences, okay? And what you're going to tell me is how plants transport water. So, you're going to watch the video, and the video will explain everything, okay? It's an experiment that also explains to you how plants transport water, okay? So, you are going to write a summary of how water is transported from the roots to the leaves. Write a summary. That means all the information in the video you need to write down in your own words in three sentences. Do not look up on the internet how is water transported from roots to leaves in plants and just write down the first three sentences that you see because that's not learning anything, okay? You need to watch the video. After you watch the video, then you're going to write three sentences and send them to me, okay? Your own sentences. What did you get out of the video? You can't really be wrong unless you don't watch the video, okay? You're just going to watch the video and tell me what you learned in three sentences. Now, you see down here there's something that I put in really big, bold letters, okay? A good elementary D level summary. It must be at least three sentences, okay? Good English writing, good English spelling, at least three sentences. That means you could write more if you wanted. If your summary has to be more than three sentences, it can be, okay? But it needs to be at least three sentences. This is due by Tuesday, May 12th, 2020, of course, next Tuesday, by 9 a.m. in Class Dojo. Okay, I love you all, and I miss you all so, so, so much, and I expect really good work this Friday, okay? I want to see what you guys can do. Three sentences. So, go watch the video, do your individual work, and turn it into me, okay? I will see you guys next Wednesday. Bye!